What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about how to save money for a trip. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have an upcoming trip to China and I have uh, put together a bunch of tips and tricks that I used when I was planning. But before I get into the video, I just wanted to take just a couple seconds and say that it's not a secret that I am a small YouTuber and YouTube has changed the uh, terms and things for the YouTube Partner Program. Um, so if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out and I appreciate it. Um, and you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm very active over there on those accounts. So when you're planning a trip, obviously cost is going to be the biggest factor um, on where you go, when you go, where you stay, things like that. So. What I like to do is I will do a bunch of research on a destination that I want to go to just to see about how much it's going to cost me to go to that destination. That way I have a physical, tangible number that I am saving towards. So flights. Most of the time flights are going to be uh, your biggest, well, okay, maybe flights and accommodations kind of go hand in hand, but flights are going to be one of the uh, biggest costs and uh, determining factors of your trip. I did a whole video on how to get cheap flights and I will link that down below, but one of the things I did want to mention is Skyscanner. I love Skyscanner for looking up cheap flights, especially their everywhere feature. You can just put in the destination you are flying from and then for the destination that you are flying to, you can just hit everywhere and then you can also choose the cheapest month and it'll give you a whole list of places that have cheap airfare within the upcoming months and that'll really help you determine where you want to go and how much you want to spend on flights. The next thing is accommodations. You want to determine which accommodations you are going to stay in. Are you going to stay in hotel or hostels or Airbnbs? Are you going to sleep on a friend's couch? This is all going to determine how much you are going to spend on said accommodation. For us, what we did was we chose hotels because we booked them on Expedia. Now, when I travel, I like to give myself as much time as possible to save for a trip. So with Expedia's book now, pay later option, plus free cancellation, I was able to do that. When we booked our flights, we booked them almost a year ago. So we didn't know what kind of situation we were going to be in when the trip was actually going to happen. So we chose hotels. Uh, we did the book now, pay later, and we are able to save up until the day we leave for these hotels. Now, it is a couple dollars more per night to do the book now, pay later, plus free cancellation option. And I know what you're thinking, hey, this is a video on how to save money while you travel. But like I said, this was just our situation and it helps that we have up until the day we leave to save for this trip. So those couple of dollars doesn't really break our budget. If you don't feel like you need to do that, then by all means, go ahead and book the cheaper one. Um, that's totally fine, that's totally up to you. Or you can book a cheaper accommodation, like a hostel. Or there's so many ways to stay somewhere. I mean, there's you can house it for somebody, you can couch surf, you can do hostels, you can do hotels, you can do Airbnbs. And all of those are great ways to save money on accommodations. Again, we just went with hotels because we didn't know what kind of situation that we would be in when it was time to take this trip. So we went with hotels and we went with the book now and pay later option. The next thing that you wanna keep in mind is transportation. Uh, while you are on your trip, are you gonna take taxis? Are you gonna take public transportation? I know specifically for us, we are flying from Hong Kong to Beijing. So that was an extra flight that we, that we had to factor into our budget. Now, the other thing is that we are taking a train from Beijing to Shanghai. So again, another thing that we had to factor into our budget. Another tool that I have kind of been using specifically for this trip to China was a website called Rome to Rio. And this was really good in helping budget per day about how much we're going to spend on transportation, whether we wanted to take a taxi or an Uber or public transportation. Um, I've heard other travel bloggers talk about it, but I've never actually used it myself. I don't know how accurate it is. So far, I've just kind of used it as a general idea of how much I'm gonna need per day on transportation. Uh, the next thing is attractions. What are you gonna do in your destination while you are there? A lot of the times, prices for attractions can be found online, which is what we did. Uh, we did a lot of research on attractions. We wanna do uh, temples and things, so a lot of those prices are you know, donations, but 
we found for the most part we found them online it was really simple to factor those into our budget so the next thing is food uh, for me food is kind of the hardest thing to budget for um, especially if it's a destination that you have not been to before maybe you don't know how ex uh, maybe you don't know exactly how expensive it is um, but one of the tools that I like to use is TripAdvisor. Uh, you can go on to TripAdvisor and search around the area of your accommodation or around your the area of your attraction and just see approximately how much the restaurants or other places that you want to eat at are going to cost you. This will really help you determine how much money you need to save per day for food. So the next thing is souvenirs and souvenirs could be the easiest thing that you have to budget for. Granted, you are going to want to buy things in the destination, but chances are you can control how much money you spend on things like souvenirs and other extras. So this is probably the easiest thing to budget. Give yourself an allowance, maybe $50 a day or $100 a day um, to spend on things like souvenirs. The biggest tip I can give you when you are budgeting for a trip is to round up. If you're doing research on prices and how much things are going to cost you, then always round up. It's better to have money left over at the end of your trip than to be scrounging while you're in another country to try and find some money for you to buy your lunch. Those were my tips and tricks on how to save money for a trip. I hope you enjoyed them and will use them. If you have used them before, if you have your own tips, please leave them down in the comments below. I would love to read those. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!